Hello everybody, my name is Adam from Adam's Mockups. In this video, I will show you how you can design your own clothing mockups like a professional for your clothing brand. I'll show you every step that I use to create mockups for some of the largest clothing brands all around the world. If you're a clothing brand owner, then you wanna press subscribe. The software that I use and most popular brands use is called Adobe Illustrator. It is free for 14 days. You just need to Google Adobe Illustrator or I will put it below in the description. But now we're gonna hop into Illustrator and start designing our clothes so here we are inside of adobe illustrator this is what it will look like when you first load it up i like to set my width to 1920 and my height to 1080 and then just press create you can put whatever size you like but i think this is a good size now here you have your toolbar and here you have your properties tab i will explain these in a second and show you how to use them and then up here you have your tabs so i've just got a few things open such as some example mock-ups you can download this in the link below but i've just created a blank artboard with a few steps that we're going to go through step one is learn the basic tools there's like five or six of these that you need to know so that's what we will do first the first one you need to know is the selection tool you can just click it to show you the selection tool i'm going to go into my mock-up pack and this has over 250 mock-ups for my hoodie i'm going to pick hoodie arm view v1 for my zip hoodie i'm going to take the basic hoodie v3 so selecting that moving down to jackets i'm going to take Take the varsity jacket v6 for my pants i will take basic sweatpants v5 for t-shirts i'm going to take basic t-shirt v2 and finally i'll take the basic balaclava and i'm actually also going to take the basic sweatshirt v2 with everything selected you want to right click and press copy move into your blank artboard right click and paste they're all gonna appear like this you just want to click and drag to move them around and organize them into your artboard these are all currently grouped together. As you can see, they drag around in a group. You can right click and ungroup and it is now in all of its separate parts, ready to customize. And then when you're done, you can just select it again, and right click and group. To change the color of anything in Adobe Illustrator, you just click on whatever you want to change the color of. You can either do this over here in the properties tab, this fill box. It currently has a question mark as some of these things are different colors. But if you click on this box, then you can change change the color to whatever you want. You can also change your colors down here in the bottom left. If you double click on this box here, then this will allow you to change the color to anything that you want. And the same for the outline, you can change the outline color, but I always like to leave this black. The next tool that you need to know is the direct selection tool for selecting the individual points. So I'll show you what I mean. If I go down here to this t-shirt, if I want to select all of the points at the bottom of the t-shirt to crop my t-shirt moving this up while holding shift to keep it on this line i can either make it longer or shorter i'm just going to change the inside of this hoodie to black like that the pen tool is for creating your own custom shapes if i select the pen tool and then i zoom into my t-shirt if i click it's going to create a point and if i click and hold then it's going to curve my line like this and you can just get it to where you want i'm going to try and create a heart and you using the direct selection tool I'm just moving these points and I'm pretty happy with how that's looking so now we have a love heart it's currently got a black fill and a black outline so I want to set the fill to red I'm gonna make my t-shirt white now I'll just leave that like that until I get to the text tool first I'll show you the shape tool this one's pretty self-explanatory I don't need to really go through this one but if you hold down on the shape tool it will bring up more options and you can select any of these shapes and and if you just click and drag, then it's going to create the shape you've selected. I've gone for a star. And I think with this slider here, I can add more points to my star, which is pretty cool. Then we have the text tool. With this, you can create any text that you want. You can do loads of things with this tool. So for example, if I write my name and I just move it to the center of this hoodie. Over in the properties tab, you can change the font to any font that you want. Just scroll through, all of your fonts will be there. But to bend this text, I'm gonna go up to effect warp and arch and it's going to arch this like so here i'm just adding some text to the heart i made a second ago to make this i love new york design 
The last tool that we have on our list that you want to know is the eyedropper tool. Now you can see if I were to just click on these masks and use the eyedropper tool and then click on the hoodie, it's just gonna copy all the attributes from whatever you click on. So that's what it's done. And they are all of the tools explained. So I'm just gonna go through now and use these tools and finish off designing the rest of my mockups. This brand called Peso, which does these clean blanks. I'm gonna try and recreate those. So if I just search up Peso clothing logo, they're goes right here I'm just gonna save image as and save that to my computer and drag it in now as you can see I can't edit this and it is also blurry so what I want to do to fix both of these problems if I press image trace up here then just like that it is basically done everything that I want but you can see it's not quite perfect but if you go down to preset and change this to high fidelity photo then it'll fix all of that and you want to press expand to make it its separate parts press ungroup to ungroup everything and just go through and delete all of these little white bits and now we have our logo ready to go now i've just brought in these three reference images for the colors i've just brought these in from google like so and i want one hoodie to be brown Now it's looking good, but what it is missing is this acid wash effect that you can see on this hoodie here. To add this is super easy. We just need to use a clipping mask and find something that resembles an acid wash. So if you think of what an acid wash effect sort of looks like, it's like this misty fog effect over your clothes. If you go to a website called Vec, Teasy, and you were to search for fog the top one on the list is free so i'm going to go for the top one if you press download now and if i just bring this into adobe illustrator i'm going to size this down and you just want to place it sort of over your hoodie uh, i'll size it up to where i want it now to clipping mask this and to have it just inside of the mock-up and not going over the edges as it is now you need to send what you're trying to mask to the back so if you right click and go down to arrange and send to back now that it's at the back you want to select it and also select the base of your mock-up with these both selected you just right click and make so clipping mask perfect. just like that it's masked it perfectly all this done is gotten rid of the color an easy little trick to get this back is just select the direct selection tool go to the edge of your mock-up you'll find the edge and if you just click on it like so select the eyedropper tool and now click on your back and it's going to copy over the color and we have the start of an acid wash effect here. I just need to lower the opacity on this, slightly less visible. And I'm just duplicating this by holding Alt and clicking and dragging. It's gonna create a new copy. This does look kind of complicated now it's sped up. You just double click to go into the clipping mask and then you can do whatever you want inside of there. So I'm just copying over this effect a bunch of times, moving it around and it creates this effect. Copy that over and make a blue version. Once again, using the eyedropper tool to get the color. For my hoodie, I'm going to try and recreate one of these Memoji hoodies, Weemoji, I don't even know what it's called. So I'm going to delete this Adam's text. Again here, I'm just getting the image from online. I'm using a clipping mask to cut out the guy's head and I've used the pen tool to draw both of the hands and the shirt. For my long sleeve, I'm going to create a two-tone long sleeve inspired by Cortese. To do this, I'm actually going to go back into my mock-up pack and get the two-tone long sleeve instead, as this will allow me to have a different color on the arms. Just getting that logo from online and again using the image trace tool. I'm gonna clean this scene up real quick. For my varsity jacket, I'm going to recreate the iconic Kanye varsity jacket. This just has pastel on the back, so I'll put that across the back. You can find this logo on the internet. I'm just copying it in and once again using the image trace tool. To create these patches on the shoulders, I'm just using the pen tool. Now the last two items that I have left are my balaclava mask and my sweatpants. So far, I'm very happy with how everything is looking. For these sweatpants, I'm going to recreate this collection by Supreme. It's just got the logo big down the leg, some nice bold colorways. But once again, using the image trace tool here, I need a trademark logo. So I've just got that from the internet. Now finally for my mask, I'm going to go for this sort of design with this face tattoo design above the eye and below the other eye. 
and here we have every mock-up that we have designed in this video today i'm very happy with how these have come out we've got the wee emoji the i love new york the kanye jacket the blanks the mask the supreme the cortez now the final step on our list step four is export slash save now you want to save this file by going to file and save as and then press save on your computer to export your mock-up to send it to your manufacturer if i just select this jacket drag it over here i'm going to select the whole thing go up to file export selection call this whatever you want i'm going to call it kanye pastel jacket and make sure to save it as a pdf this is the best format you can also do a png or an svg if you want but pdf is the best to send to manufacturers and the best one to open up on your phone my mock-up pack my clothing manufacturer list my website template and my tech pack template are all live on my store below you can check this all out press subscribe to see more but i'll see you in the next video